Right guys, welcome back. We are currently a quarter of the way through the Sanguini Gulch. I think I'm really not sure on that word. Sanguini. I've, I feel like I've heard of Sanguini. Is it like a Linguini? Or is it a Sanguine? I should probably Google and find out. Anyway, triple decker drawbridge. My God. You can guess what the solution is going to be here. Right, so first off we will... Ah, why do I press escape? First off, we'll see if this structure holds, and it does. It just has a large boat going for it. So next, I will try. I'll probably add another piece of road. Yeah, I'll do that now. And that just gives me flexibility. So I probably want to go to there. Tell you what, tell you what. I'll use this tool again. I'll go to the edge of the boat there, and then fill that in, and I'm just gonna build a sort of simple truss. Bet you didn't see that coming. Right, so I'll just copy this. Sorry, ignore this structure. I'll get rid of that. Now essentially, you need to make sure we're not gonna hit the boat there and that this can support itself. So I think I'll just do a little thing like that. Turn the grid off and just make sure that's against the wall in a straight line. Ah, we're still at the back. <laughs> cool, so it holds itself. Does it hit the boat? No, so that's great, basically, because this is going to be on its own when the drawbridge stuff is happening over this end. So we'll turn the grid back on. Let's mirror this. And then essentially, I think I want that sort of shape. So how many roads do I fit through there? Four meters. Okay, so I think with that middle bit then, we can just do two pieces. So I kind of got this box. That I think should support itself. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a joint there, a joint there, and a joint there. I'm going to leave that, but I'm going to joint for that one and that one. And then this whole square is going to become detached from the rest of the bridge. And if I rotate it about this point, I essentially want this bit of road. Let's just count. So one whole four square grids which is exactly four square grids down there. Which means I should be able to use hydraulics and steel. I'll probably go straight up with something and some sort of contraption. Wait, over this corner? I think I should be able to do some sort of maths. <laughs> Loving the detail. Some sort of maths to work out how I can get this point here to rotate and end up down at this point. If that locks in, even better. So I'll give that a try. That went the wrong way. Contract. No. Oh, why am I... What am I doing? <laughs> so I had it right originally. It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? And then we will do that. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Ooh, ooh. That was looking semi what I was after. And I'm still snapped to grid as well. So I might just reinforce this bit that just broke and just see if we're anywhere close. Ah, no, don't break. Don't break. Right, so actually thinking about this, I want to go to the middle. Like, I don't know why I'm trying to do the top at all. Because <laughs> if I go about this middle point, or even there, the top's just going to snap. If I do that one, I'm going to try that one actually. And I'll make sure it's a one, so then it's connected to this side and not that side. Essentially, I want this to end up there, so I need this piece to be twice as long as that piece. I think? Is that right? Let's just see where it ends up. Yes. I think that would be right if stuff doesn't break. Oh, did you see that? I think that's getting ripped in half. I don't think that's under compression at all. I think it's all tension. <gasps> oh! That was close, I reckon. That was doing everything I wanted it to. Oh! Okay, this is awesome. Back to normal. Let's try rope. I don't know why I went straight with cable. Okay, it needs to be cable. <laughs> This is awesome, it works! Locks in- oh, will it get back though? That's a whole different matter. 
Because that's the opposite forces. That cable might be rubbish there. Oh. It's working. Do we support... Ah, oh, bollocks. Okay, I'm going to reinforce that road. Might do the same that side. Or it might be okay. That's a shorter span, remembering that. So when this is locked in... Stress is 75, so I'm pretty sure that 75 is this piece. So we'll see if that breaks. I'll speed this up. Yes, that one did go. So we'll reinforce that. And that 75 is way less. I might have to do the next two as well, maybe. I always have the option to move this about as well. Right, okay. How's our stress looking? There's a lot of weight. So that one reinforced. This is just a bit of tweaking. This isn't... <laughs> There's not a lot I can do with this to make it cheaper afterwards. Because I'm kind of doing this the inverse way. Actually, I'll tell you what, I probably could. That would be cheaper right off the bat. And that end. Don't even know if I need that, to be honest. Do I? Okay. We'll speed through here. Now we need to pay attention. Redness. Red. Red. Oh no, that one broke. That is a shame. I'll go back to my piece of steel, I think. So I'm going to do another wall brace under there. I hope that will take some of the weight out of it, but I don't really know. Alright, let's make a road muscle then. Reinforced road muscle with a bit of wood in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to turn the stress off and we'll just watch how this bridge works. I don't know if this is going to make it. It's going to get very close. We got to about here last time. So this unlocks and goes back up. All three lock in place, hopefully. Oh, the bottom one didn't. That doesn't seem to be a problem. Oh, thank God we made it. That was hard. But I got top 8%. But I always got beaten by a guy that can never finish anything. So, Wow, there looks like some cool levels in the gallery. Let's go have a look. Wow, these are all really expensive though. <laughs> 258. Whoa, I was not expecting that. Okay, that's cool, but why has it got the three extra bits on top? Like, there's three extra lanes. I thought I was going to do a full loop for a second. Alright, so I'm going to just wood this up a bit. I don't think I can get into the top five, but it's worth just having a little go. Okay, because I saved a bit of money doing that. Alright, so like I've done in the middle, I'm just wondering if I could get rid of some cross braces. Don't exactly know which ones would be best. I think those two end ones could. Okay, so yeah, let's try that one, that one. Let's do every other for now. Oh, okay, so it holds. I wonder if I can get rid of any more. May as well try. Let's try just without all of them, apart from... I'll leave those just because there's a bit of... Actually, I can see straight away if that will work. So the other thing I could do is make that 50 and move this down very slightly. Okay, because that took a bit of cost down because our hydraulics is smaller. And we got across. Great. Okay, I think I'm done tweaking this. That stress as well, 99.9%. .9%. And we're in the top 5%. Well, top 4 if you want to be accurate. Cool. Next level, safety gap. I know all about safety, because I'm an engineer. Right, we've got 11 bits of road. How fast does he go? Quite slow. I'm guessing 11 pieces doesn't reach. 11 gets to there, wow. So, let's just see then. So he does do a bit of a gap, so... I'm guessing this is what they're getting at with a gap. We could do something along those lines, and then... I wonder if I can make him, actually... Full with style, if you like, down to a certain point. So I could probably put bits of that in. Okay, so let's get that right down. 
Okay, so I'm hoping if I can get this end done, everything should be a bit easier. I'm gonna have to do another truss, which is quite a lot of wood. If we can go up as well, that's even better. So then we do another bit of wood. Then our next piece of road, I'll get rid of this middle bit for now. And we'll just try and work from here. All right, so I think from here, I can maybe start taking it up. And then my plan is to try and create some sort of arch and road structure truss thing. <laughs> it should be cool. So every step is gonna go down, but then go up just to give us the furthest distance. Trouble is, I've only got four bits of road left. I could actually lose that end structure that I've got because I'm not gonna be that low. Now I'm going over. So yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of that. I'll try and do this the whole way. Cool, so we definitely got enough road to be able to do this. Oh, that was road. Okay, so I'll get building and see what happens. All right, so this is gonna be a bit of carnage. <laughs> But it might work, it, it might not actually. I'm having doubts, I'm having serious major doubts. I probably should have just used the old tool, but I didn't. You can lead a horse to water, right? All right, I probably should have done this far, far neater than I have, but uh, <laughs> we'll just see if that will hold itself. It does. Wow, okay, that was holding itself. I was a little bit surprised by that. Okay, that's cool. That means we could be on the right tracks. Oh, look at this. If I make these a bit sort of smoother, I might not even want a level difference. I might just want to do that sort of thing. Oh my God. I've cracked it. I've got too much road now. Let's just... Let's just redo this end, because I'm just going to take him right up. I wonder if I can just just do that. I can always bring this level up. The stress is bouncing though. Okay, so I need I do need two bits of road. I reckon we will keep him going up. So I'm going to bung another bit of road there. Oh, okay. So I don't even think I need that last piece. I might want to make it wood though. Oh no, should be fine. Go on. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, okay, that was a little bit annoying. If I put a gap in there, I think that's the best way of doing this. Put my road there and move that over. And in fact, try and go a bit higher as well. Okay, so that's not doing anything. And that's just put an extra weight on here. So I'll remove that. Is it going to break? Oh, <laughs> that was close. 99.9%. <laughs> Top 14. Decent. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work out where I can trim costs because this was messy as anything. I think I could lose a whole sort of layer of truss in it. I think let's just bin all this off and sort of start again from there. And I'll do... Try and do a truss between each one. Did I have two layers before or three? Because I could just, I could honestly do with that over the top. I probably should have checked what price I was before because I can't remember now. So that's a lot better. But I don't know if I'm just back up to the price that I was. So yeah, I reckon I can maybe get rid of all that. Looking at the stresses. Nice. So we don't need that end. I wonder if we need everything in here. Yes, we need that one. <laughs> I could try and smooth this curve down. So essentially, I'm just making all my trusses a lot smaller because they weren't very stressed. And that uses a lot less material, so it's a lot cheaper. And if I just round off these corners, I can probably just do a straight through if I put that in the right place. Okay, so that doesn't hold now. So I just need to make this middle bit a bit bigger. And what I'll do, I'll just keep making these trusses bigger. As soon as they get equilateral, so all three sides are the same size, and that's where they're strongest. But if you see, it's actually the top. It's where you've created this arch. The kind of overruling shape here isn't actually a triangle. It's, it's the arch shape. So you can see it, all of that going red. That's what that means. We need to kind of create a bigger arch. So you can see that, the actual shape that's hurting. <laughs> hurting. 
is that one. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to look at is where we've got two long pieces. So we've made the same support structure, so this node isn't going to go anywhere now. With a lot less material, so... I think under here we can bring all these in. And actually, we can probably do that. Because the jump he's doing at the end is huge. And we only really need him to land on the very end. He says. Let's see if I can bring this up. So we're way under budget now. So yeah, you can see this is starting to look like the sort of shape you see a crane. Like those long ones on construction sites. And that's because it's just a really efficient way of moving force along metal. Right, so I'm sure there's a better way of doing this one. Right, so now as a shaving technique, not shaving, I mean shaving money, I wonder if I can make these any smaller, the bits of road. Because I don't know if you saw that, but that looked... Fine. So I might start doing that sort of thing. Right, so let's watch this without the stress. Now I've proper trimmed it down. It looks quite a bit neater now. It's a bit of a bilf, if I do say so myself. And I didn't think that would be the way it would end up. If you look from this angle. <laughs> it's a bit gappy. But yeah, we'll have a look. Oh no, it doesn't make... Oh, it does. Oh, thank God. I thought we weren't going to make that then. And we're in the top five. Whew. Not going to lie, it's getting... A lot harder to get into the top five. I think because less people have got this far, maybe? Alright, so we're gonna attempt to do one more. It's called a big spender, but we've only got 14 grand. Which isn't a lot of money, but it should mean there aren't too many ways of doing this. So that's four grand. So now I've got 10 grand to, um, to make it better. Do I do tension? That is the question. Tension does seem good in these situations. So, sod it. Let's try it. Why am I building this all in wood to start with? Makes no sense. Oof! It holds. I'm going to try and do this without the stress indicator on, just as a bit of a challenge. Don't know if tension is the right way to go, thinking about it. Yeah, scrap that, scrap that. I would do tension, but budget is just insane for tension. Why am I doing rope? The thing is, that's 13 grand. Alright, so without looking at the stress, I'm pretty sure that will work. I just wonder if I turn the grid off, if I can try and cheapen it up a bit. I should probably do this symmetrically, actually. Alright, let's 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 try this. I need a piece of wood along there. Will this hold? Ah, it didn't hold. It broke there. I, don't, I think, I feel like it should sort of work. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do this sort of thing. Alright, let's try that. It's working. The stress is high, but I can't see where. So, under 13. I don't know if that's a good thing. Top 12%. Okay, so if I were to go back and look at how expensive is rope. 200. So, wood is cheaper. Could I then? Could I have done it that way? Not really. But I could have done that, maybe. No. Okay, good to know. Alright, let's turn the old stress on. And see exactly what's going on. Okay, so I guess the main thing I can do is just make these triangles a bit smaller. Ooh, that went red. That one's going to go red as well. So that was 100 quid cheaper. Let's see if that raised us up the leaderboard much. Top 10. I don't think I can get much cheaper with this design, so I will just go with this if it works. Oh. So yeah, 12,700 on the dot. And that's as far as I can go, I think. I'm going to have a quick little look in the gallery and just see what other solutions that were under, what was I on? 12,7. So let's go on budget. So all these cheap ones are just people using the rope. There's one. So this one doesn't use the cheese method. Nice, okay. So we got two little arches. Interesting he takes the road down. So there's more pieces of road on this design. Let's have a look for another non-cheese one. 
So the double arch. Cool, that's good to know as well. It's a grand cheaper. So yeah, it's becoming a lot more difficult to do these levels with like proper engineering techniques and get within the top 5%. It's not going to be possible until a few more people attempt these levels. So I might do something a little bit different on the next episode. I might do. We'll see We'll see what happens. But cheers to that. I quite enjoyed that level. That was a proper engineering. There aren't too many techniques, but get it as efficient as you can. So yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching once again. Nice one, guys.